hi guys it's been a while since i've made a youtube video um school just ended so now that it's summer i have a lot more time to make videos so if you have suggestions please comment below i realized that i haven't done a makeup tutorial that's kind of weird because my entire life i've been searching for the perfect tutorial that works for brown girls i wouldn't want anyone else to go through that so i'm going to share my routine with you Let's get started. Every morning before I do my makeup, I take moisturizer. I will be linking everything down below. So I take Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and put it on my face like so, and just rub it around pretty generously. I find that this is how you get like a very dewy base for your makeup. If you have dry skin, your makeup is not gonna be dewy. And then after, I like to go in with, um, this ultralight daily SPF 30 sunscreen from Beauty Pie. This sunscreen is also a primer, so it minimizes the amount of products I have to put on my face, which I really like. And I put way too much on. So now that I've tanned a little bit, I like to transition into my summer concealer shade. This is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium. And I just put it in my under eyes, my upper lip, my eyelids, my sideburn areas because I shave them so they end up being like a little grayish and I don't want to look like a man. I put some on my chin, this cut, and a bit on my forehead. And then just for like a little brightening effect, I have this Tarte sample concealer. I like to just put a bit on my under eyes. It's the, shade, it's the Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Sand, just like that. And then I go in with a dry sponge and just blend it out. I personally do not like a wet sponge. I feel it absorbs a lot of my makeup and just does not give me the coverage I want as opposed to a dry sponge. And then with the excess product after blending, I just put a bit on my nose. So after that, I take my Stack the Odds palette from Alley Oop in the shade Cocktail Hour. Essentially, it is just blush, highlighter, and contour in one little palette. And I like to go in with a different dry sponge. I like to go in with the contour and just dab it ever so lightly. I like to put the contour on my jawline, my cheek hollows, and temples and forehead. Also, this is really pigmented, so don't use too much. And then after that, I like to go into the blush just a bit and do the same thing. Just dab it on and evenly disperse because it is very pigmented. I even like to put a bit into my eyeshadow area just for some color, some depth. And then a new product I recently got is this highlighter from Ritual de Fill. It is the shade The High Priestess and it's like this iridescent highlighter. I really like it. So I just go in, dab a bit, and then blend. It blends really seamlessly and I just really like the glow it gives my face. Moving on, I have this Tarte Amazonian palette. I like to take a little bit of the shade Bold and I just like to put a bit on my eyelashes, on my eyelids. So after doing that, I like to take a little bit of setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier translucent, translucent setting powder. I like to open a bit of that up. I just like to take a little bit with my eyeshadow brush and just dab it under my eyes. With setting powder, I don't really like the matte look that it gives me, but it does prevent the crease lines and stuff, so I only use it under my eyes. And you kind of just want to like pat it into your skin. The area like around my nose, like this under area also gets oily, so I'm just putting the excess here. So after that, I like to curl my eyelashes with this random curler I got from CVS. That's a huge difference. And so I first go in with this lash primer from Beauty Pie and, you know, just apply it very generously. And then I go in with Urban Decay's Wild Lash. 
Again, very generous. And you wanna do this all very quickly because eyelash products do dry up and get crusty in a matter of seconds. And then after that, I like to go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic. And then to top it off, I take this eyelash comb that I got from Grande Lash Cosmetics. It's a bit crusty right now. And then just comb through while the eyelashes are still like kind of wet. And it just like separates them so nicely. Like, look at that. No clumpy lashes over here. And then you just repeat on the other eye. So after I do my eyes, I like to go in with my lip products because it's the last step, obviously. And I have my Vasanti Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Natural Instinct. And I just line my lips. Well, I don't just line them. I do the entire mouth. I mean, you can't blame me. It's such a pretty color. And then I have this lip oil from Beauty Pie in the shade Jammy. And I just apply it like so. I think this lip combo is so flattering on brown girls. And then after that, I just like to go in with my e.l.f. Stay All Night Setting Spray. Fan myself out. I find that I have product on my eyebrows so I just give them a little wipe and then yeah that's really it that's how I get my dewy very light makeup look it's very simple it took me quite a while to come up with it I'm making this video so that you guys do not have to go through that very lengthy process of finding your makeup routine I hope this helped and I can't wait to make more videos Thank you for watching.